Hi and welcome to the Aspire YouTube channel. Over the 90s uh, we uh, realized that we really needed a uh, search and rescue part uh, helicopter part into Faroe Islands. At year 2000 we uh, also gained a search and rescue contract with the Faroese government and uh, because of that contract we were able to purchase a Bell 412, a four-axis aircraft, which uh, was a major uh, achievement and a progress for Atlantic Airways. Of course uh, the 412 was uh, good at that time but over the years we uh, had to realize that we needed more uh, powerful helicopters. So uh, in 2015 we were able to uh, get a contract uh, with the Fearless government which included both the, um, the um, island hopping, island hopping of the Fearless and also the search and rescue part which would uh, or which gave us the necessary economics to purchase two uh, AW-139s. So uh, today we are operating two AW-139 7-ton version and uh, it flies like an aircraft, like a fixed wing more or less. It has an amazing autopilot, it has an amazing maneuverability and uh, easy to handle and uh, it can be used for all these uh, tasks that we do here in the forest. Now the challenging uh, thing is the uh, weather. We can have sunshine here, nice weather here, and we fly a few islands towards south or north, and then we have uh, maybe fog or rough wind conditions, and uh, sometimes even uh, heavy snow. So actually I started, I started to join the company um, to become an apprentice for engineer, for the maintenance engineer. And then there was an opening for the rescue swimmers, swimmers and always, I've always been interested in helping people and stuff like that. So it seemed like a pretty perfect position. It's challenging again. Usually we, we decide who's going to be the host operator and, we, and the rescue swimmer at the beginning of every, uh, every shift. And Sometimes we agree on we shift every half week or or we're gonna just stay where we are in, in the whole week. It would, you don't become a high separate before you have you know, a fully known uh, rescue swimmer first. You have a better understanding of each other. Um, the rescue swimmer is going down, he knows pretty much what's gonna go, and what's gonna happen. And if you see something, the, if the high separate sees something, the, the probability is that the rescue swimmer saw it too and knows what's gonna happen next. We have what we call one, 120 hours advanced medical training. Uh, it's done with uh, what we call ANSNE, uh, uh, They are in uh, cooperation with uh, the Norwegian Air Ambulance. So we get a lot of study from them. For more updates on the ever dynamic aviation industry, stay tuned on Aspire.